Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. As part of trigonometry transformations, let us try to solve this example together. In triangle ABC, prove that cos A by 2 plus cos B by 2 minus cos C by 2 equal to 4 cos pi plus A by 4 cos pi plus B by 4 into cos pi minus c by 4. In triangle ABC, prove that cos A by 2 plus cos B by 2 minus cos C by 2 equal to 4 cos pi plus A by 4 cos pi plus B by 4 cos pi minus c by 4. So, as usual, we will start with the LHS, we will try to arrive at RHS. For that, we will be, will be applying transformation on the first two. Then we will use the condition that uh, triangle ABC all angles add up to 180 degrees. We do appropriate transformations and try to arrive at the RHS. So let's start with uh, applying transformation on the first two terms. So I'll write down cos A by 2 plus cos b by 2 minus of cos c by 2. We will apply transformation on the first two terms. So, it is cos c plus cos d. So, can I write it as 2 cos a by 2 plus b by 2 by 2 cos of a by 2 minus b by 2 by 2 minus of cos c by 2. Let us move to the next step. We will have simplification 2 cos a plus b divided by 4 cos of a minus b divided by 4 minus of cos c by 2. Now we have a problem. We have a plus b by 4, a minus b by 4, but this is c by 2. Now can I, con can I convert this c in terms of a plus b by using angle sum property? Let us look into that. For that what I will do? I will write down that we know that all angles add up to 180 degrees. a plus b plus c equal to pi. That means a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus c by 2. Now we have cos c by 2 that means that is nothing but pi by 2 minus c by 2. So I will apply sin on both sides. I will have sin a plus b by 2 is equal to sin of pi by 2 minus c by 2 which is implies that uh, implies that sin a plus b by 2 is nothing but cos c by 2. That means Instead of cos c by 2, I can go back and write down now sin a, by a plus b by 2. So, my next step will be 2 cos a plus b divided by 4 cos a minus b divided by 4 minus of cos c by 2 can be written as sin of a plus b by 2. Just now we have done that. So, instead of cos c by 2, we can write down sin of a plus b by 2. But this is in the form of sin 2 theta. I can write it as 2 sin theta cos theta. So, that I can take cos a plus b by 4. That is nothing but cos pi minus c by 4 common. So, then we will move to the next step. Next step will be 2 cos a plus b by 4 a plus b by 4 cos a minus b by 4 after that we have minus sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta so can i write it as 2 sin a plus b by 4 and cos a plus b by 4 now we see that we can take cos a plus b by 4 common so we'll go to the next step and we will write down that's nothing but equal to 2 cos a plus b by 4 can be taken common 
so i can write down left out is cos of a minus b by 4 minus of sin of a plus b divided by 4 now we can have transformation only when both of the trigonometric ratios are same so i can convert this cos as sin or i can convert sin as cos anything is fine so we can do any one of that so let's do one thing we'll try to convert cos as sin i'll write down this as sin of pi by 2 minus theta so in the next step i will write down 2 cos a plus b by 4 I'll write it as sine. So I'll say sine of pi by 2 minus a minus b divided by 4 minus of sine of a plus b divided by 4. Let's simplify that in the next step. So I can write down 2 cos a plus b divided by 4. I can take common. Let's take LCM here. For 4 and 2, we have 4. So this guy will be 2 pi minus a plus b divided by 4. So can I write it as 2 pi minus a plus b divided by 4 minus of sin a plus b divided by 4. Let's move to the next step. In the next step, we'll apply transformation on sin c minus sin d. We will get 2 cos c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2. So that will be 2 cos a plus b by 4 is nothing but pi minus c by 4 because we have a plus b plus c is equal to pi. So a plus b can be written as pi minus c. And then we will have sin c minus sin d that will be 2 cos. First I have to add them so i will write down 2 pi minus a plus b after that i have plus a plus b divided by 4 divided by 2 that's nothing but divided by 8 similarly i have sine of 2 pi minus a plus b this time i have to subtract them so they will become minus a minus b divided by 4 divided by 2 that's equal to divided by 8. So the next step will be 2 cos pi minus c by 4 multiply that with 2 cos. We can see now when I add them a and a will cancel. So I will have cos of pi plus b by 4. We can simplify that. How? a and a will cancel 2 pi plus 2 b 2 into pi plus b by 8 that is pi plus b by 4 after that we will have sine of now b and b will cancel so i will have 2 pi minus 2 a by 8 that is nothing but sine of pi minus a by 4 so let's in the next step will be our last step where we will do 2 into 2 is 4 cos pi minus c by 4 and we got our cos of pi plus b by 4 after that we have sine of pi minus a by 4 now the solution what we need is in terms of cos so we will go back and change pi minus a by 4 to its complementary angle pi plus a by 4 so that sine will become cos so are nothing but can i write down cos of pi by 2 minus theta instead of that so it will become now 4 cos pi plus a by 4 cos pi plus b by 4 and cos pi minus c by 4 which is nothing but what we want so let me just take one minute and explain what we did here so how this came from here we know that sine of pi minus a by 4 is nothing but cos of pi by 2 minus pi minus a divided by 4 
you simplify that you will get 2 pi minus pi plus a that's nothing but pi plus a by 4 or can I say complementary angles whenever you move from one angle to the complementary angle you move from angle to its complementary angle trigonometric ratio will change from sine to cos or vice versa when you want to change from sine to its partner cos then the angle will become its complementary angle so that's how we can prove that cos a by 2 plus cos p by 2 minus cos c by 2 equal to 4 cos pi plus a by 4 cos pi plus b by 4 into cos minus cos pi minus c by 4